Now, resonance has typically been a difficult topic, so you can actually use real demo sets, which I'm going to use instead of computer model, which essentially is a simulation. I've made this simulation to allow the visualization of the resonance concept. Uh, so let's say we delete and we make the time step a little bit faster uh, because this is being demoed so I thought uh, it might be a good idea to reduce the time step to maybe say half a second of course the trade-off of such a move will be to the trade-off will be such that <coughs> the, the graph may not be so nice because uh, it depends on the time step so if the time step is too big, uh, but of course it will reach it very fast. So as you can see, as I try to pinch, uh, this is the resonance, typical resonance graph for the amplitude versus the driving frequency against the natural frequency of the system, which we call the capital F uh, divided by F0. So the rate these various red dots represent the maximum amplitude as a result of a no damping system. So let's try and see whether I can get it to work. So we now typically our pause and I'll do an initialization so that it remembers the old graph. And I will now choose perhaps a say very light damping. Okay, and then I'll click play and see what happens. So as you can see it quickly uh, saturates and reaches an, a maximum amplitude for which you can see how this is being arrived basically these are actually being driven by very tiny masses distributed across the x-axis which is the driving frequency divided by natural frequency axis and all these various masses are all identical except with the driving force that is equal in magnitude but different in only the frequency of which that it drives the system so you can see it saturates again, so I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to now as, uh, initialize to, so that it remembers the second graph. And I'm going to move on to choose light damping. So as you can see, if I were to leave the visualization for the, for the masses, what do you think would happen? Okay, so let's click and take a look. So it's being driven and it, the red dots actually represents the maximum amplitude. So I designed it such that it actually remembers the highest amplitude reach, uh, whether it be positive or negative, it already remembers it, and it will display it as a static uh, dot, which then, because of the various, various hundred points, so therefore there are 100 of these such points. So I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm going to initialize so that it remembers the various colors again so I'm going to move on to moderate damping so uh, when the system is moderately damped you will find that actually the graph is actually different okay this is as a result of the response to the various uh, amplitudes that are being reached amplitude meaning the maximum displacement that's being reached so the instantaneous displacement actually is a lot lower and probably changing all the time but it remembers the maximum amplitude that's being reached. So you can see that it actually becomes this very nice graph that you typically see in the lecture notes for the A-level syllabus. So let's uh, stop it for a while, initialize so that it remembers. And I'm going to move on to critical damping, which is quite typical, uh, always required. So the, the critical damping will therefore be where the system will come to the lowest amplitude at the shortest possible time and this actually this red line now actually represents the maximum amplitude okay I'm gonna stop okay then I'm gonna move on to heavy damping okay and as you can see where this is heavy damping let's take a look and see what happens so it should be uh, lower for all the rest so uh, yep okay so as you can see very nicely this applet uh, is a uh, I would say first in the world to allow the visualization of these various this uh, resonance concept in this particular manner typically you could use buttons pendulum and, and all that uh, other real life 
very nice and cool uh, demos but uh, the, this app, particular applet actually does do add value to using technology to for teaching and learning okay so uh, as, a, as a last demonstration I'm not sure whether it will work uh, but let's say you're interested in uh, what what happened if I were to change it to a light damping again okay I want to change it to light damping okay it, it both goes up again okay so it should be roughly the same as the earlier set of uh, data sets that I've gotten okay but the purpose of doing this is because I want to allow the comparison Okay, comparison of the let's say what happened when we were to change the mass to two instead of the mass becoming one initially so do you expect the graph to shift to the left or shift to the right no shift the left here or shift the right here and whether the shape will be sim uh, will be similar to the to the graph that we have seen uh, in these dark dark green dots that we have okay so let's take a look Okay, so you can see it actually does shift to the left. Okay, and the amplitude uh, doesn't really change that much. Huh? Yeah, and yeah, but if you try with different damping levels, you should be able to see uh, very different graphs from this one. Okay, so this, this last checkbox, which is not demonstrated, is actually to allow the axis to display both the positive and negative so they can see actually what is happening for the whole system let me let me do that again because uh, my own personal iPad 2 is a bit laggy uh, but uh, you can still see it okay so uh, what happened is uh, now in this visualization you can actually have amplitude in both the positive and negative uh, but I have uh, created it such that, that it only allows the visualization above for the maximum amplitude so with that, I think I should uh, leave it to you to figure out and play with the various options here. Okay, you can use user defined and you can have uh, lots of different scenarios to be simulated. Okay, thank you very much for listening to this video tutorial on resonance.